In this problem we have an infinite series and the question is to determine if it converges or diverges. So there is a series test called the nth term test which is usually a good first test to try. Like if it's not geometric, so like if you don't have a number to a power, um, which we don't, uh, this is a good test to try. It basically says if you have an infinite sum, I'm just going to put a sub n here, and I'm not going to put a starting point, just being re really generic here, and you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n, and the result is not zero. So if this happens, then your infinite series will diverge. So you have uh, divergence, so it diverges. So here, let's try to apply that test. And here it's not n, it's k. So this piece here is going to be our a sub k. Okay, let's do it. Let's apply this awesome test. This is a very powerful test. By the way, if you get zero, um, nothing happens. You can't do anything. So it's only when you don't get zero, that's when you can say diverge. All right, let's take the limit as k approaches infinity, right, because it's k, not n of a sub k, so it's k squared over, and then k squared minus 1. So the numerator is quadratic, that's because it has a 2 here. The denominator is also quadratic, because it has a 2 here. So both the numerator and denominator have the same growth rate, they're both quadratics. Whenever that occurs, and you're taking a limit to infinity, the answer is the ratio of the leading coefficient. So here, the leading coefficient is 1. Here, the leading coefficient is 1. So the answer is just 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. And the most important part about this answer is that it is not equal to 0. All right, so we can apply our test. So our series diverges by the nth term test. So by the nth term test. That is the most important part, right? Super key. And that would be a complete solution. I hope this video has been helpful to you.